The Mill Street Community School TY Global Citizenship Education Class of 2019-2020 have spent time learning about the UN Sustainable Development Goals. One of the targets of the Global Goal 10, Reduced Inequalities, is to promote their inclusion of all people, whatever their age, sex, disability, race, ethnicity, origin or religion. We wanted to find out what people in our school community felt about belonging and inclusion. So we invited students and teachers to respond to some questions on the topic. Here is some of what they had to say. When you first came to Mystery Community School, what things helped you to settle in? When I first came to the school, the things that helped me settle in was, um, I suppose the staff were very welcoming and, you know, they were a bit laid back. And the students as well, like, there wasn't any kind of sense of Oh, I'm better than you, you listen to me. When I first came to Millstreet Community School, um, the things that helped me settle in better was the TY activities. The teachers were kind enough to help us around and show us where things were. The same as in Marina. Being in the same tutorial as your friends from previous schools. Uh, what are some of the best things about living in Ireland today? The sexism, like women wouldn't go to jail for trying to have an opinion. Really, to get get whatever job you want. Um, that like there's so many different sports now that both genders can do, and there's for education, secondary and primary level. It's the fact that we have our own language as well, it's nice to be able to learn that. Uh, it's nice in Ireland today that you can. There's all different like sites that you can go and see, and there's a lot of different like tourist attractions and stuff. Oh, it's not the weather, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the people are summed enough. The community, like yeah, you know, everyone I, knows yeah. Each I other. think that I for it here anyway. It's like um, I think in Mill Street, anyways, we're all like really close. I think um, it's kind of like tight knit and stuff. It's a free country, and I think the people are very friendly. So, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of culture as well, like the GA and stuff like that. Mm. So I think Ireland is a very welcoming place. There's a very high standard of education in Ireland. There's huge developments in technology and innovation. Even though our healthcare system isn't the best in the world, it's open to everyone. So I think that shows that Ireland is welcoming for everyone. Um, what do you think Ireland and Irish people are well known for around the world? I think Ireland and Irish people are well known for uh, the sports, because like hurling and Gaelic football and all. They're really kind and helpful. Their music and dance. Definitely the culture. Like, for example, St. Patrick's Day. I always heard about it from when I was back in my country. I loved it and I was able to celebrate it. Uh, I think they are well known for uh, Patrick's Day, their culture, religion, and also their food. Do you think there are groups of people who are not fully accepted or included in life in Ireland? If you do, can you give any examples? I feel like the older generations, not to stereotype, but I feel like they can be a bit more... Um, difficult and a bit they kind of have the blinkers on when it comes to different nationalities and things like that so I feel like the younger generations tend to be a lot more accepting of different nations and nationalities. Do you know like the LGBT kind of group there and stuff like maybe like the older generation might just be against them for some sort of reason that can be a big factor you'd see it sometimes like? Probably some immigrants and maybe like the LGBTQ plus community aren't fully accepted. And the travelling community? Travelling community yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of misconceptions about that. How much you see this happening? Oh, I, like, you see it on social media a lot, actually. Or even just the fact that they all kind of group away together and they're kind of like halting sites, like, you know. Yeah, a lot of them don't continue their education either, I don't think. So that's, yeah. Uh, what words would you associate with not feeling accepted or included in a country? I think probably the best word is lonely, I think, yeah. I would associate prejudice. And isolation with not being accepted in a country? Uh, maybe racism and um, being discriminated and living someone in isolation. The school has hosted a language and culture night annually for over 10 years to celebrate the different nationalities in the school and local area. What's your opinion on this night? I think it's a good way for different nationalities to express their traditions. I think it's a good night, you know, for people who are not from Ireland, you know, like just to celebrate, you know, like it's a day just for all of them to celebrate, you know, like, cause, yeah, it's, it's just a good day. And it's neutral, like. Yeah.
I think it's great for like the school and the local community. It brings all like the different nationalities together, like so, and it's a great night for even anyone else that just wants to come for a good night and fun, like so. It's good for the school. I think it's very important. It's very important. Yeah. I, it's such a part of like the school year as well, like it'd be. And even for the adults in the community, yeah, to see because they don't have school to mix, like yeah. If someone comes to our school from another town, county, or country, what can be done to make them feel even more welcome? Do you think? I think just understanding if a student learns something different in their old school, just helping them just understand it in a new way, but still remembering, not throwing out all the knowledge that they have in their old school away. Just being kind and nice to them, and if they get lost, tell them where to go. Or... Um, teachers giving them tours of the school or getting somebody to help them around the school for the first few days. Sometimes because life is so hectic and school can be very much academic-based, we might forget sometimes that other people do need to feel included when they come. So if we were all just maybe reminded of that every now and again, just to take a step back and try and say hello or just something like how are you to someone new, it might help them feel more welcome. First of all, find out their interests, you know, find out if, you know, everything about them, make them feel comfortable, be nice to them, you know, like, because they're coming from somewhere different where, you know, they do things differently over there to compare to how we do it here in Ireland. So, yeah, just make them feel welcome, be nice with them and, yeah, just learn about them, yeah. Be patient with them as well, you know, like if they don't have good English. Yeah. Um, just include them as best as you can, like start conversations and just help them settle in the best you can. Be including them, yeah. Try and involve them in much activities. Uh, that's probably the most they can do. To be fair, they can be involved in anything they want and not get judged for it. I came here not so long ago, and people were actually kind to me, and they didn't actually um, like leave me alone just to in isolation and. We chose the title, Belonging, for this film because we believe it is one of the basic needs that everyone shares. Being accepted and included in different aspects of life is essential for everyone's well-being. Whether to be a country, a classroom, a family, a club, a religion or a group of friends. In the film, we heard that lots of effort is made to make people feel welcome in our school community. We also learned that not feeling accepted can lead to experiences of isolation, the very opposite of belonging. Perhaps there is something in this for us all to consider. Perhaps we should ask ourselves, how much are we aware of the people around us in school? Are we interested in getting to know students who are from a different background, from our own, perhaps from a different country and culture. Are we truly accepting of differences, whatever they may be? If we want to make Global Goal 10 a reality by 2030 and to promote the inclusion of all people in Irish society, then helping those around us, whatever their background, to experience a true sense of belonging is going to be essential. Thank you. <laughs>